Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. This film will be about wheel balancing. If you fly a gyroplane, it is certain you will have come across the term wheel balancing. Yet whilst I might agree wheel balancing has its place, I believe it is a poorly understood, often poorly executed technique and its application misplaced. As a very subjective technique, competence also consumes a lot of training time and requires focus beyond its practical value. The origin of wheel balancing is with single seaters from a time when pre-rotators, if they existed at all, were weak and rotor tacos were optional. The process of being able to build rotor RPM without blade sailing and to anticipate when the nose wheel was about to lift, i.e. just prior to flight, and keeping the gyro under control without over controlling was important for your safety because the first time you fly a single seater you are necessarily alone. So in that context, wheel balancing is eminently sensible. Sadly, single-seaters in the UK are limited to historic aircraft, a legacy of under-representation in the face of new regulations. So for over a decade, two-seat factory types have dominated, yet we've persisted with this wheel balance technique, which for most is totally unnecessary. Reliable pre-rotator, rotor brake and rotor taco means you can precisely control and understand the rotor in a way that was impossible to do so previously. And with an instructor sat in the second seat, it hardly matters if the first takeoff attempt isn't perfect. Today, students are effectively driving up and down runways in two seat aircraft, trying to find the sweet spot of a wheel balance, only to find that beyond the wheel balance lies yet another process before takeoff. Because you unstick in such a draggy, low power, low accelerative state that you simply cannot climb away, you must transition to a long airspeed build up phase. And that is a main issue. Students are often misled. Gyroplanes are not particularly short takeoff aircraft, and the POH will confirm the same. So, the danger of the wheel balance is that you can be lured into thinking that at unstick, even if you use full power after pre rotation, you can climb away, and you can't, as many AAIB reports and this piece of film demonstrate. So, surely it's better to use a technique that focuses not upon the unstick, but upon the ability to climb away. Pilots can also become so focused on finding a stable wheel balance it distracts from all else. So I'll remind you of my technique. First we set engine RPM to 2000 and press and hold the pre-rotator with the stick into wind. We're now waiting for the pre-rotator to synchronise. Bring the stick forward and central and we're now accelerating the rotors to 200 rotor RPM before releasing the pre-rotator bringing the stick fully back and add in a little bit of power just to start the ground roll. However, now we're focused on a rotor RPM gauge. Once we can see a positive rotor increase beyond 200, we can unload the stick about one fist and add full power over three to four seconds. With less drag and better acceleration, the airspeed build-up phase is almost eliminated and even pre-rotating to the high values possible with aircraft such as this 2017 MTO Sport you can see that the lack of acceleration, relatively low engine power and high drag still requires airspeed build-up before climbing away. Remember the height velocity curve. The area of the aircraft's flight envelope which the pilot must avoid staying in continuously if on the circumstances of him suffering a sudden engine failure, he's going to manage to land the aircraft safely. And it's usually defined by a height and an airspeed combination. If the pilot should have an air failure within those areas, the chances of him getting away with a safe landing are pretty remote. As this American test pilot was to discover, From my own trials I find that with equal throttle applications the wheel balance technique underperforms in climbs to 50 feet. However it may be an effective rough field technique as you unstick sooner. Hope you enjoyed the film. Fly safely. 